Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video and in, in this video, well, uh, uh, this is going to be a new series that I'm going to be doing for uh, for this uh, uh, for this Big Bash season, um, which is which is me re reviewing all the game all the games um, that that have that have taken place. Um, so. Um, so for so for today I'll be reviewing um the um the the first two games that have happened over the, la the last over the last couple of days which were the Sydney Thunder Melbourne Stars game which that one was a cracker by the way and the uh, and the Adelaide Strikers Sydney Sixers game that happened last night as I'm recording this um so. So yeah, so originally I was gonna do it game by game, but but you know I just got you know a bit tired and that sort of stuff. So I just decided you know, just to pile the first two games in, in, into it and 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 hopefully and then hopefully uh, hopefully I hope I can upload this hopefully during the Brisbane Heat uh, Melbourne Renegades game tonight. My my team the Melbourne Renegades playing t tonight as I'm recording this. So um. So, so hopefully, uh, uh, so hopefully, my renegades could uh, could win, uh, could have a, have a win to start the season. Um, but uh, so let's get into the games. So, um, so, so, uh, so I'll start with the first game: Sydney Thunder and the Melbourne Stars. Um, so, so, so the talking points were, of course, the Thunder won the toss. A one, sorry, not one that toss, one the bat flip, I should say, and elected the bowl for went to the bowl first in. In what eventually, looking back at it now, it looked like to me it looked like it was probably a pitch that probably that the that the batsman probably didn't play as well. Um, if you, if you, if you eventually will see. Um, so um, and in the Melbourne Stars lineup, um, Marcus Stoinis and Joe Burns. Um, it, it were in the starting starting eleven. Um, it, it were in the starting eleven despite them being tested positive. Um, I'm not going to say the word because I might get in a bit of trouble. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can say it or not. Um, on YouTube. Um, someone comment down below if you know. Um, if I can say the word that starts with starts with C and ends in D. Um, I'm not gonna, uh, then, if anybody can um, put comments down below saying if if I can, I don't, uh, can or not, I don't know. Um, but uh, but yeah, but um, but Stoinis Stoy and Burns they tested positive, and under the new health and safety protocols that the Big Bash have this season, they can still play with, for uh, with, uh, if they're tested positive, but uh, but. They would have to be separated from 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 the rest of the, from the rest of the group. So, um, and then there were there was a couple of times during during the telecast I watched on Channel Seven, by the way, um, that it showed Stoinis and Burns just sitting there, and then most of the time Stoinis had a buddy had had, had buddy jacket on him because it was because it was that cold. Obviously, because it's Canberra, obviously, uh, which I forgot to mention it was at Monica Oval in Canberra. Um, so it started it started off pretty well. Obviously, Joe Clark hit the fir, hit the fir, um hit the first boundary, um, uh, off the first ball by the way of the season hit it hit it for four, and the first six, which was a few overs later, was hit by Tom by Tom Rogers, um, the first, and then not long after that was the first wicket. Um, which were which was Joe Clark for a runner ball eleven off uh, Gar off Garin, uh, 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 which was bowled by the big G man himself, Grin Sandu, which was not the la not the last time he would he would feature in Eater in this match. Um, so from the four over power play, so um, so so the rule, so this rule basically is still in play from the previous, I think the previous two seasons, I believe. Where they have a four over power play, and then basically the other two overs of power play, basically in the power surge, um, they were one for thirty one from that four over power play. Um, soon after that, Tom Rogers then departed, then departed, 
Um, the other opener departed for, uh, for, uh, for a pretty entertaining 14. I mean, he hit, hit a six and a couple in a four and a four, I believe. Um, and it, which was which was um, which were, we could take him by Daniel Sams. Um, and then afterwards, of course, um, poor Joe Burns, he had tested positive. Then just to make matters worse, he suffered a hamstring injury or injury, uh, str uh, injured his hamstring. Um, which was running between the wickets, um, twins in his hamstring. Um, he st he tried to play on for it for it for about two three overs, but unfortunately he retired hurt. Um, unfortunately, and and he had to go to hospital to get scans. Um, and and, and I I don't think there's been any news. I don't think I've I've checked on the cricket live app, and there's been no news yet about. What the? How many? How many? How many? How many weeks or how many matches he's gonna miss? I don't. I don't know. But uh, but it pro, but usually for for me when these videos come out, then they basically the news basically comes out basically or uh, on probably stupid. And it's already has been out and I haven't even read it yet. So so yeah. So um. So so yeah. So yeah. Uh, and then, and then, and then, of course, the other positive, positive uh, player that tested positive, as I uh, uh, said, the captain in Marcus Stoinis. Obviously, he is the captain because if you, if you guys don't, because it replaces with Glenn Maxwell, because obviously he's uh, he's out for the season. Um, he's 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 saying he's trying to get to get back at, at least at, to play at some stage towards uh, in this tournament, but but it's a, to me to me in my opinion it's a bit of BS really, um, bit a bit of bull, a bit of bullshit on his part. A, 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 a recovery from a broken leg takes way longer. It takes way longer than it than sit it long way longer than four to six weeks. So. Um, so I don't think it really, that. so, so Stoinis, um, gets out there and is gone first ball, um, by, uh, by, uh, by the spin master himself, Chris Green. Um, uh, it, it looked like, it looked like to me a bit, a bit of turn and bounce. It looked like you, I think he was trying to fend around the corner. It looked like, I found that the might, I might have to watch the dismissal again. I think it looked like he was trying to... Cross bat it through the leg side, and it just caught a caught a top edge, or he's tying it. Must he must have tied it maybe a bit early, and and it's gone straight up, and it's and Farugi, Farugi, um, Farugi, the new bowler, for, uh, new Afghani bowler, um, uh, for um, for uh, for the um for the Thunder, took it to a good catch. Um, halfway through the innings, the stars was were, were three for sixty four. And then, and then in the thirteenth, and then the thirteenth over, they uh, they took the power surge, um, which was not a good one for the stars. Uh, uh, the power surge wasn't good overall in this game. Let's just say that. I'll get to that later. Um, Farugi got got his first week. It got it got his first week in the big bash, knocking uh, knocking uh, Cartwright off stump back. Um, it did did the kick. It did the it did the kick. I still can't believe he he had the flexibility to kick it up that uh, keys keys leg that high. Jesus Christ! By the way, uh, and then he did it again. This time, um, this this time uh, he got the big wicket of um Mitch Larkin, um, which uh, which he uh, he which was a good innings for for Nick. I mean, twenty five from twenty six. He 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 was trying to you know be the one that just that just stayed in and uh, until the, until uh, until the end of the innings, but unfortunately he didn't do that. Um, got got done by a, by a, by a brilliant slow ball from Farugi, uh, getting his second wicket, uh, getting his second wicket. Um, by the end of the two over power surge, the stars had two for five from that in in that power, in that surge. Which was not good. Let's just say that. But as I said, as I said earlier, that it, 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 the funder were a victim of this as well. Um, so, uh, so then, so then Luke Wood, so then Luke Wood um, came in. He got out um, 
got out to, uh, to the to the big G man um, for his second wicket, and then uh, and then soon afterwards, uh, Bo uh, Bo Webster, uh, the big the big man, big Bo Webster, which I uh, I which I uh, as I said, I watched this on Channel Seven. Ian Bishop was in there, and from what everybody's saying, he is is massively uh, massive in terms of height. And even he said, "Oh, he's uh, said said about Bo Webster. Oh, he's massive." <laughs> even he says that. And, 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 and Ian Bishop is like massively tall, um, it, it, massively tall. Obviously, part of part of part of that West Indian side, um, massive West Indian sides in the eighties and that. So so yeah. Um, and then when Bo Waters and then Bo Waters got out. Um, it, there were seven for ninety seven, and we all fought with with Cool Tenile, Bolt, and Zampa still to come. We all fought. Oh boy, they're not in, they're not in the best shape here. They they might maybe not get. It. They could probably get one fifteen, one twenty <laughs> max. Um, if if they can, if they can get it, if they can get it right. Well, um. Well, obviously, Cool Tenile, he he hit a six, he hit a six, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, he got out for for fifteen, which left um, Bolt and Zampa to um, resurrect uh, to end the innings, which it did on eight for hundred twenty two. But if you count the retired hurt of ness of Joe Burns, that's basically nine. Um, Basically nine, basically for net for hundred twenty two for the twenty overs. Um, I said Larkin with twenty five uh, played a lone hand there for uh, for the uh, for the stars. Uh, Farugi, Sandu, and Sam's got two wickets each, um, which uh, which uh, and at the end of it all, that left the Thunder needing a solitary as your well fourth hundred twenty uh, uh, solid uh, a. Reasonable, a, a reasonably low hundred twenty three runs to win off their twenty balls to win the, 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 win the opening game, or so we thought. Um, Trent Bolt took it, 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 it took a um wonderful it, it took it took his first wicket in the big bash, um, off a wonderful catch, uh, the first of two wonderful catches. From uh, from Brody Couch, um, who wasn't uh, who was actually a sub actually um, caught Matt, uh, Matt Gilks. Um, it looked like one where basically he dived away and then basically dropped it onto his leg and it's just basically bobbed up and just taken it again, <laughs> taken on the second grab and it was uh, <laughs> I was just like what? How's that even possible? And then, and then, and then Riley Rousseau came out, who, as we all know, um, if you watched the World Cup recently, he scored a hundred in during that tournament. So we all thought, oh, this, how's this gonna go? How's this gonna go? Bang, gets out first ball, bolts on a hat trick, straight away, and it, it, straight away, really. Uh, and then, and then um, Alex Hales. Um, and then Alex Hales, he it, 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 so, and then, um, and, and of course the Thunder were two for twenty eight uh, after after their power play, and then and then uh, and then soon afterwards Hales he got out for sixteen, um, thank, just thanks to a friendly full toss for, from Nathan Cool to Nile, uh, wasn't the best delivery, but it but it what it but for. It, but 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 the staff didn't care. Obviously, because they got got him a wicket. Obviously, uh, Hales just couldn't believe it when he got when when he saw it roll back onto the stumps. Um, not back on the stumps, and and then um, and then, and then and then the, the new captain Jason Sanger and Alex Ross um, uh, st stayed in. And uh, and did uh, and did the pr uh, and had a uh, had, uh, for a while and they had a, had a a bit uh, had a what was that uh, was that uh, was that a, a 19, uh, 
It was a 19 run partnership actually. It, it lasts about four overs, uh, which was probably one of the longest uh, partnerships they ever had. Uh, that, that was probably one of the games they ever had, probably. Um, but unfortunately, um, Sanger got bowled um, for, uh, by the captain and an. Uh, uh, actually, actually no. I, 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 my apologies. Stoinis wasn't the captain. Zampa was. My correction. Zampa was. Um, was the was the um was the captain in that game. Um, and so you got so you got so you came into the match on ninety eight. Big bash wickets. That one took into ninety nine. Um, Sam's trying to go big. Um, trying to go, trying to go big, absolutely failed, took, uh, threw his wicket away, really, and, and they were, in, and, and, and by the 10th over, um, si the, the, the Sixers, uh, uh, sorry, the Thunder were, were in big trouble, they were, they were five down for 58, and still needing another 65 runs from the, from, from the next 10 overs to win. Um, then soon afterwards, um, Oliver Davies chopped chopped one onto his stumps, um, onto his stumps from Nathan Cool to Nile, and then, and then soon afterwards as well, he, uh, Zampa got the danger man Alex Ross for twenty eight to grab his one hundred, become the sixth player to to take one hundred big bash wickets. So good on good on him. Um, I mean, he, he deserves it. Obviously, he's probably. Probably the be probably the best um, little over spinner Australia has has a, has right now. I mean, some people. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I think Nathan Lyon is the best red ball spinner at the moment. But I think that in terms of white ball, I think Zamp is uh, uh, up there at the top of the tree in terms of Australia. Um, the Thunder, uh, the Thunder, and ended, ended their power surge. Um. Got none. Got none for twelve. Um, got number twelve from from their power surge, um, which was taken in the eighteenth over, I believe. Yeah, the eighteenth over because they they didn't because they didn't have the power surge in the last over. Uh, so so then and it looked like when they needed eight runs off the last over that did the thunder that. Um, that they thought they were home, and, and, and when um Z when Sandu hit that boundary in the last ball of the of the nineteenth to make it eight runs to win, uh, and then nobody thought that what this over was to come. So Chris Green, uh, he chipped in for a while with with, with Sandu for, for a good for for a decent seventeen, and then Brody Couch yet again took another catch of this catch of this catch of the tournament contender. Um, I think this one was better. Just ran. I think he ran about for about five ten meters, and then just put the right put the right duke out and just plucked it. Which was, I think that one was better. I think that one was better than than the previous one. Uh, I think that this one. I mean, he was running in and with one hand, just bang, unbelievable. And and then the next ball. Uh, Farugi came out. You know, you know, he's a number ten, so um, so he wasn't expected to do much. He didn't. He basically first ball tried to heave ho it, and then basically got bowled. It was two and two, and suddenly the stars were now were now in, were now in control. It suddenly just like that. Um, they they, they, they the funder still needed eight runs. Off about four balls to win the match, still. So it's so that it, and, and and with one wicket in hand, so that, so their odds weren't good. Then in came Garinda Sandu, who just decided, you know what, I want, I, you know what, I want to hit a six. Bang! Hits us, hits it. Only just it, it, it gets over the rope. Um, just like that, the it, this pendulum. The old pendulum swings back the other way and basically goes straight to the thunder, um, and then it came the, the unusual occurrence where the, the thunder only needed one run to win off the last ball. The stars needed one wicket. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the Joe Clark, the uh, uh, the keeper, um, he'd already taken his glove off as he, as the ball was coming to him. Unfortunately. 
it sort of swung away from him and unfortunately went through for a bye and game over. And the Thunder won by one wicket in the in the end, um, limped over the line. The, the, the big the buzzword of that game, limped over the line by one wicket. Um, Ross was the top scorer in that game um, for the Thunder with, 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 um, with 28 from 27. Um, the, be the best stars bowler was clearly Nathan Coulton-Nile, four overs, uh, three for 19. Um, and, 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 and br brilliant bowling from, from NCN. And then, and then, uh, and then the big G-man, of course, not surprisingly, he was named player of the match for his super 23 from his four overs and 20 knots out from 16 took the Sydney Thunder home, uh, in style, obviously. So, um, uh, so a good start to... Good start to it to uh, but it, but it was it to, it to the season for the Thunder, but it wasn't a really good a good game really, and it, there's a lot of things that 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 needs to be improved for for the for the fun for the Thunder and for the Stars, um if they want to um if they if they want to somewhere make finals at the end of this tournament, um so. That's just about it. About it for that game. I'll uh, I'll move on to the uh, the Adelaide Strikers Sydney Sixers game, which happened last night. Um, so the Strikers won the bat flip, elected the bat first, uh, which was strange, really, because there was rumours it was going to be it, that there was going to be since it was a cold night that at, a, at Adelaide last night that it was going to be due on the on on the, on the in the outfield. And it would benefit the the team bat, batting second, which that never came. Um, so yeah, it, it didn't, and it didn't get off to the best start for the strikers. Obviously, Jake Weatherall get it going out in the first over for for one, uh, for one or three. Um, and th and then we get out, and then we get and then it wasn't long before finally we got our first DRS review in the big bash. Um, Matt Short got out to uh, to an LBW. He went up. He went up straight away for the appeal. Um, I think I think I watched it, and I think my immediate thought was it went up. Uh, 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 my finger went up. I thought, yeah, that's gonna be out. Uh, it let it, or at least at worst, umpire's call. But it turns out it just missed the leg stump by that much. By that much. By, by, just missed by a tiny cigarette paper, missed by that much, for from here for, for sure getting out for. I think it was I think it was on zero as well. By the way, um, yeah, and with, and, his, and of course he ended up um getting this fantastic innings together, um, so. So yeah, so yeah, so then of course in the same over match, Shaw hit the first boundary and the first six of the match, um, in the same over. By the way, so, and and then the strikers they ended up with with, with one for twenty five from from their power from their power play, um, it took, and then and then there was this ninety seven run partnership between um. Between Matt Shaw and the and Lynn Sanity himself, Chris Lynn, which by the way, I love his intro. Love the introduction. And I'm glad that, that that's gonna be happening for when he's at the when the strikers are at the Adelaide Oval for the rest of the set for the, all this season. Yeah, it was just it was just just absolutely brilliant for it from the strikers, but well played to them. Really, really, just, just hope that hope that um hope that Dre hope that Dre Russ hopefully gets that same hopefully maybe not gets that same introduction when 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 he plays for the Renegades for the first time tonight, hopefully. Um, so yeah, and then at the at the halfway mark, of course, the strikers are cruising at one for eighty one. Um, Matt Short ends up getting the first half century of the season. Um, this time off thirty one balls. Um, unfortunately, um, uh, Chris Lynn ended, ended up, um, going for one too many. He ended up, ended up going out for 41 or 32, ending the partnership three runs short of the, of the 100 run partnership. 
uh, for 97 or 64. Um, with a 19 year old Afghani leg spinner in is a, 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 in Naveed got it getting his first, getting his first uh, big bash wicket. Um, so yeah, and then in the 15th over, um, the strikers ended up taking the power surge. They were really, really, uh, they were very um, prolific with it, scoring 30 runs from their two overs, not conceding any wickets as well. Um, and and then of course, and of course, and then of course, the brilliant innings that was of Matt Shaw ended up coming to an end on 84 from 53. He played some absolute beautiful shots, absolutely beautiful shots. Unfortunately, he ended up getting out. Um, Colin de Grono, um, he had, a, he had a six to the, to the, to the, um, to the short side of the ground at Adelaide Oval, which, uh, which was not fair, <laughs> not fair that the, the, those boundaries were that short, but, uh, but he ended up going for one too many and ended up getting out for seven and, uh, Rashid Khan ended up getting out there, um, uh, and he, and he, um, and, and, and Abbott ended up taking his second wicket. Um, in the over, and then in the last over, and then uh, Adam Hose, who I went to the game to be honest, to be honest, guys, not knowing much about him, but of course Maxi was in, in commentary, and he said, oh, he, he he was talking, oh, he could hit a very long ball, which which uh, which was true. He he did whack a couple of sixes, um, even some around the corner, even even hit for even he hit for six. Um, unfortunately, he ended up uh, getting at LBW, which was reviewed, but unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. It was, it was basically full on his boot. The uh, 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 and as um, Damien Fleming said, it said the old sand shoe crusher. Yeah, yeah. I, I immediately said said to myself, nothing's better yeah, for a bowler in the game of cricket than than a good old sand shoe crusher. Yeah, <laughs> which. which in, 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 you know, in my own time playing cricket, playing cricket in my in my own right, I did bowl a couple of century rushes. So, so yeah. Um. So that meant that Abbott took three wickets in that last over. Um. You ended up finishing with uh the strikers ended up finishing with six for one hundred eighty four from their twenty overs uh, from their twenty overs. Um. Eighty four. Uh, uh, of course, Matt Short started with eighty four. Off um, eighty four fifty three, and then and then of course uh, also, um, and then Adam Hose and Chris Lynn contributed to uh, forty. Uh, uh, well, Chris Lynn with forty one, and Adam Hose with forty. Uh, good contributions as as well. Sean Abbott ended up being the best of the, the Sydney Sixers bowlers with uh, three for thirty seven off his four overs. Um, with all the, with all those three coming in the final over, by the way, um, which left um, the the Sydney Sixers a monstrous task of 185 runs to win, requiring just just over just over nine runs and over to win a, to win the game. It didn't start very well with um, with Curtis Patterson getting out in the first over, uh, getting out um, to Henry Fulton. Uh, Henry Fulton, who uh, uh, Fulton, uh, who uh, who's who, who's just coming out of the blue. Re- it's coming out of the blue, really. It's been a smart signing from from um, from the from the Adelaide Strikers to get someone like him. And, and, and about Fulton, I made this uh, um, made this uh, suggestion that his action, it's 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 a bit strange. It, it can it reminds me of his, his bowling action to. Um, Elise Perry, where where he's like, like she's like that, and then basically goes uh, like that. But this time, but this one's like ten times quicker. He's he's just like like that. It, that's it. Just just quicker, really. That's that was the um the observation I had during watching during the game last night. Um, from 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 the standpoint, and and everybody and. The Channel Seventeen basically called him a Brett, a Brett Lee region, <laughs> even down to the number fifty-eight, by the way, <laughs> which was uh, which was great. And speaking of Faun- Faunton, he ended up getting his second wicket in in, in three balls, getting uh, James Vince out to uh, uh, for a second ball duck. Um, so then by the end of the, by the end of the by the end, uh, then by the end of that fourth power play. Um, 
they were um, fourth power, uh, f four over power play. The Sixers were two for 24, so not in a good position, really. Nothing much happened. Uh, and then, of course, Josh Philippi chopped one on to Rashid Khan, of course. Of course, the great man. What? Uh, what, what is he? Uh, 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 of course, he ends up doing the, the helicopter celebration, uh, doing the the, the aeroplane celebration. Which I, which funny thing actually was, I said to myself, I said to myself, come on, come on, Rash, get it, come on, get it, get a wicket so I can, so I can do the aeroplane celebration. As I said it, he did get the wicket, and I actually did do the aeroplane celebration, which was. Uh, which was which was great. It was great. It was perfectly timed. I said to myself, I even said to myself that I was perfectly timed, really, um, with that celebration. Really, um, yeah, yeah. And in the sixes, like uh, the six to the halfway mark, they were three for sixty-four, and they still needed another hundred and twenty-one runs from 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 their te from their next ten overs. At a, at a required run rate of just over twelve and over, and even I said during that, uh, during the uh, during the latter half of their innings, I said, "What on earth are they doing? Like, they need uh, they they were at some stage they were like five down, they were like four down, and and, and then requiring eighteen runs and over. Like, I was like, what the hell are they doing? They need eighteen runs and over. I don't know what they were what they were trying to do. Um, to be honest." Uh, to be honest, to be honest, really, don't know if they wanted to, you know, if it had something to do with something to do with the pitch, or it just benefited the team batting first, or the conditions. I don't know, or the, or was it the team's, or was it the mindset? I don't know, I don't know, but I didn't know what they were doing. Like they just did not want to chase down this title at all. Throughout this as well, and and. And all, but all, but on the other hand, it was pretty pretty disciplined bowling from uh, from um from the bowlers. I mean, from from Siddle, from Siddle, Thornton, Rashid, Rashid also uh, bowled bowl very well as well. Um, even Colin uh, Degronome also bowled very well as well with his looping slow balls. Um, so yeah. And then um, Moses Enriquez, of course, he got out. Uh, the captain held out, held out on the boundary for twenty four. Um, not long before that, they took their power surge in the twelfth over. Not really good. Not, it, it, um, one for six. Uh, the power surge has not been that. Not been that good. Not been that good in the in the first two games. Um, wasn't good for the stars. Wasn't good for the thunder. And then it wasn't good for the strikers. The only the only teams benefited was the stri uh, was the strikers, um, the Sixers, I should say. Sorry that uh, that it hasn't benefited benefited them. Um, and then um, Silk he had a pretty a pretty uh, re a bit of a rear guard action, not not totally a rear guard action, but or, but um, but held in there for, for to get yeah thirty six. But unfortunately, Rashid Khan got the better of him. Um, and then the next ball, I think it was to Dan Christian, um, a big LBW shout, which was which was also reviewed, um, but but unfortunately this time it was umpire's call from both the hitting and, and when I went up, I went like this, I went like that straight up, like like it's out, like it's out, like from the naked eye, it like it was plum LB. Unfortunately, that didn't end up that being that way, and, and of course, it was retained, and um, it, it was, it, and but but since it was umpire's call, the strikers did retain that review. Um, uh, then um, and then of course, but it was, but the pressure finally told. I mean, Dan Christian, he had his nil stump knocked back for thirteen. Um, then the and then and then two balls later after that. Sean Abbott um, got got his stumps not back um, for a second ball duck, and, and Henry Thornton got his fourth wicket in it, wicket, which was the final bit bit of exciting action really from from, from the game probably. Um, the six uh, the strikers ended up winning the game by fifty one runs. Uh, Jordan Silk played a, played a very lone hand for the Sixers with with thirty six from twenty five. Uh, Thornton. 
was the pick of, was the pick of all the bowlers in that match. He took four for twenty from his four overs, um, and he was very well supported by um, by 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 Rashid Khan, who took three for twenty one from his four, um, and and then of course. Um, of course, Matt Shaw obviously was named player of the match for his, for his unbelievable knock of 84. So, so yeah, so the Sixers, a bit, of course, a bit, of, a bit of a, a bit of reality check for the for last year's finalists, uh, beaten finalists. Definitely, I mean, uh, uh, hopefully they can improve on this. Uh, I think because. Uh, uh, I've, I've seen, uh, if you guys saw, if you've been on my YouTube channel, Instagram, at, 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 Bro, at BrodoS11YT, seeing my predictions, uh, I think I predicted, predicted the, the Thunder to finish, uh, not the Thunder, the Strikers to finish in 7th, I believe. So outside of the, fi outside of the finals. Um, but uh, Which was very hard to do, which was very hard to predict who would be who who would be the five teams that would be in the final be in the finals? Um, it's very it's very even in this in this competition this year, um, but but unfortunately I was like, well, I have to I have to pick three teams that they're going to miss out, and the, the strikers are one of them. But a lot of things I must have got that I, I, I'm probably going to get that wrong because because they keep playing like they did they did last night. Then probably yeah, I'm probably gonna get that prediction totally wrong. So so yeah, so so big win for the so I said big win to the strikers. A, a lot of work to do for the for the sixes, but but I, I expect them to to bounce back in the next game, which is I think it is the it is the rematch of last year's final, I believe, and I think that's the first game for the Scorchers for the year. I think I think I might have to check that. Um, check that out, but uh, but it's not a, a very tight turnaround for the Sixers, so they need to turn it around and, and turn it around quickly, really into their next game. So that's it for reviewing that game. That's it for this uh, for this video. Now I promise you guys, um, it's going to be one match for now for now on, um, except for the ones that has double headers. Um, for for one for ones that has double headers, I'll do I'll. I'll Compile like this. Have two video, uh, two reviews in the one video. If there is the one match on on that day, then I will, um, then I will, um, do. Uh, I will just solely review that game in, in that one video. Um, it, it, but but for the ones that that aren't being aired, aren't being aired on free to air, free to air TV. Um, I'm just get, I'm gonna have that uh, that game just compiled into um, into that week into that week just compiled into the, in the next game. So base so basically, yeah, yeah because I I don't have pay TV. I only got free to wear TV. So that brings out the ones anyways. Um, and, and and I'm gonna take a break from the big bash. Review at uh, uh, match reviews uh, during New Year's because I'm planning on uh, planning on going down to Geelong um, for New Year's. So uh, so unfortunately, uh, I'm not gonna you know do, uh, do a uh, not gonna do a review for those because I'll be sitting back relaxing in Geelong um, for that, for that for a week. Um, Comment down below, guys, or, or, or thumbs up the video if if you want to if you want to see a Geelong vlog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably I will, but yeah. Um, so uh, like so like this video. Um, share to anybody who's a big Bash fan, or is an Adelaide Strikers fan, or a Sydney Six uh, Sydney Thunder fan. Um, comment down below who is your tip to win to win the big Bash uh, to win the big Bash this year. What who who, who who's your tip? Do you think it's gonna be the Sydney Sixers, the Perth Scorchers, um, the Hobart Hurricanes. They 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 all uh, all three have have unbelievable sides this year. Um, I like to hear your opinions now in the comments down below and somewhere down there, somewhere, um, hit the hit the big red button which is labelled subscribe. Um, but until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later. 
and wherever you may be, may the sun or the moon shine on you. Let's hope it shines brightly on the renegades tonight, please.